welcome welcome to my channel correct biology my name is dr vikas bhardwaj and in this video i am going to teach you about epistasis yes we have earlier discussed about epistasis hopefully you must have seen that video in that video we discussed about how the coat color in the case of mouse it is being inherited from one generation to next generation in this video you will learn more about epistasis please look into epistasis part 1 video and here you will learn more about epistasis now here i just want to remind you what is epistasis in case of epistasis what you are going to see one gene one gene masks the function of another gene let us suppose you are going to have x gene and this x gene let us suppose it masks the function of y gene so here your x gene is epistatic gene while the y gene it is hypostatic gene generally in the case of epistasis what you are going to see that the two genes they are going to work in antagonist manner but keep in mind in case of epistasis you can also see one gene can modify function of another gene one gene can modify function of another gene here what you are going to see the complementary gene interaction between two genes so here we are going to see both of the cases today so here i just want to tell you i just want to remind you hopefully you must have seen my epistasis one video in which we discussed about the inheritance of mouse coat color we got we observed the ratio 9 is to 3 is to 4 that was an example of recessive epistasis hopefully you remember epistasis can be of two type dominant epistasis and recessive epistasis yes please have a look into that video we have have already have discussed these points now in today class we are going to discuss the flower color in sweet peas and here you are going to observe the ratio 9 is to 7 yes we are also going to discuss fruit shape in summer squash here you are going to observe the ratio 9 is to 6 is to 1 now here let's take the first case flower color in sweet peas so here i just want to tell you just remember this sequence in the case of sweet pea what you are going to see a precursor substance is being synthesized okay precursor pigment is being synthesized and keep in mind if only the precursor pigment is being synthesized the color of the precursor pigment is white now in the presence of gene a okay gene a product okay it is going to modify the precursor and what we are going to see intermediate pigment now this intermediate pigment is also white in color so here keep in mind <coughs> when gene a it is present okay what we are going to observe the flower color will remain white in absence of gene a the flower color it will remain white in presence of gene a the flower color will remain white because gene a its product enzyme it will convert precursor into intermediate your precursor is white in color your intermediate is white okay so this sequence you must remember now here in the presence of gene b what is going to happen your intermediate pigment it will get converted into purple pigment so here due to the presence of gene b what is going to happen the intermediate product will be converted into purple pigment so here just remember this sequence precursor got converted into intermediate intermediate got converted into purple now here you can see that in the presence of gene a the precursor will get converted into intermediate in presence of gene b intermediate will get converted into purple now try to see here you are going to observe two phenotype one is white so your flower color will be white when gene a is present when gene a is absent 
okay in both condition your flower color will be white now try to see here when your gene b is present okay and gene a is also present okay not only in the in the condition that only gene b is present in the condition when gene a is present when gene b is present what you are going to observe purple phenotype of the flower color try to think here when gene a is absent what is going to happen precursor will not get converted into intermediate precursor will not get converted into intermediate now hopefully you got the idea that in presence of gene b in presence of only gene b you are not going to see the purple phenotype purple phenotype you will see when both gene a and gene b are present why because gene a will convert precursor into intermediate and gene b will convert intermediate into purple if both are present you will see the phenotype purple now let us solve the cross let's you cross white with white okay you cross the white flower with white flower here you can represent the genotype okay capital a capital a small b small b here small b okay gene b is absent okay and i have told you in absence of gene b you are not going to see the purple phenotype you are going to see the white phenotype yes here also you can see gene b is present but gene a is absent here also you will not see the synthesis of intermediate okay your gene b it its product will convert intermediate into purple so when intermediate is absent here also you are going to see white phenotype so when you are going to cross white with white okay what you are going to see this genotype capital a small a capital b small b what will be the phenotype now you can easily guess okay scientists they observe this phenotype in the f1 generation here gene a is present gene b is present all f1 progeny they were purple so here you can easily predict okay so scientists they observe the purple flower color okay now in the next here you have to do the self cross so purple crossed with purple okay here you are going to see four types of gametes are being produced okay so here these four types of gametes are produced from this same way here you are going to see the synthesis of four types of gametes now if you solve this with punnett square okay hopefully you can solve this easily okay so here these genotype combination will be formed okay and if you solve all these genotype combination then you can easily predict what is going to be the phenotype now try to see here all these green positions okay you can make the triangle here okay so here what you are going to see capital a blank then capital b blank so here gene a is present gene b is present okay so here when in the condition gene a is present gene b is present what is going to happen you will see purple phenotype try to see here your colorless precursor will get converted into intermediate and intermediate will get converted into purple when gene a and gene b their product are present what we are going to see purple phenotype quite easy now if you see all these position okay here what you are going to see the genotype capital a then blank then bb okay so here at these three position what will be the phenotype white why gene a is present okay in the presence of gene a what will happen colorless okay it will get converted into intermediate your colorless precursor will get converted to intermediate then intermediate is also white okay here gene b is absent there will be no synthesis of purple pigment so here what we are going to see the white flower color next here if you see these position at this position what is going to happen gene a is absent but gene b is present try to think the sequence when gene b is present okay what is going to happen it is responsible for making the flower purple but it can convert intermediate into white but here gene a is absent 
जीन ए इट्स फंक्शन वाज टू कन्वर्ट कलरलेस प्रीकर्सर इनटू इंटरमीडिएट ओके सो इन दिस सिचुएशन व्हाट यू विल सी द कलरलेस प्रीकर्सर विल बी सिंथेसाइज सो योर फिनोटाइप विल रिमेन वाइट नाउ ट्राई टू सी हियर द लास्ट सिचुएशन हियर व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू सी जीन ए इज एबसेंट जीन बी इज एबसेंट both gene a and gene b when are absent what you are going to see there will be synthesis of colorless precursor there will be no synthesis of intermediate there will be no synthesis of purple pigment okay the colorless precursor pigment will be synthesized and in that situation what phenotype you are going to observe the white okay so it is quite easy now here you can calculate the ratio okay what ratio you will see 9 Purple, three plus three six, plus one seven white. So, what ratio you are going to see? Nine is to seven ratio. Okay. Now here, just have a look into this cross. Here, what you got? Nine purple, seven white. Nine purple, seven white. Now try to see here. Here, the gene B. Okay, it was. responsible for converting intermediate into purple okay gene b was responsible for making purple pigment now when you are having genotype small a small a capital b then blank in the absence of gene a in the absence of gene a you were not able to see the phenotype which is going to be due to gene b so here in the recessive condition when gene a is in recessive condition it is masking the function of gene b okay so such type of epistasis is recessive epistasis recessive epistasis hopefully this point is clear to you next here if you see that when you are going to have genotype capital a blank capital b blank means when both the gene a and gene b they are present when both gene a and gene b both are present in that situation what is going to happen the colorless precursor it will get converted into intermediate due to the presence of gene a then intermediate will get converted into purple due to the presence of gene b now here what you are going to see both gene pair they are going to interact both gene pair product they are going to interact and here you are going to see complementary gene interaction and due to this what you are going to see you are going to see a new phenotype that is purple so hopefully all the points related to this cross are clear to you now we are going to discuss another cross in the another cross we are going to discuss the example of smurf quest also known as cooker beta pepo now here what you are going to see you are going to see three phenotypes of the root shape three phenotypes one it can be disc shape another you can have sphere shape and another you can have here long so three phenotypes you are going to see in the case of cooker beta smurf quest root shape okay you can see here the picture so here at one point you are going to see the disc shape okay white okay you can see the disc shape fruit you can have sphere shaped the green one and you can also see this yellow the long one okay so here we are going to focus on the shape of the fruit now here you have to remember the sequence okay in this way so your when both gene a and gene b when both gene a and gene b are absent what we are going to see the phenotype long phenotype now in the presence of gene a the fruit shape okay it will be sphere so you have to remember gene a will convert okay long into sphere same way if gene a is absent what we are going to see the fruit shape long okay so here you see another situation when gene b is present okay in this situation also what you are going to see sphere okay so either gene a is present or either gene b is present what phenotype you are going to see sphere and if both are absent what phenotype you are going to see long 
we both are absent what phenotype you are going to see long now here keep in mind if both gene a product and gene b product they are present okay what phenotype you are going to see a new phenotype you are going to see that is disc so if you remember this sequence then you can easily solve the whole cross okay just remember this now here if you cross disc fruit type with long fruit type okay so here you are going to see in case of disc what you are going to see both genes are present gene a is present gene b is present while in the case of long okay both are absent gene a is absent gene b is absent means both are in homozygous recessive condition if you solve okay what genotype you are going to see capital a small a b b this is going to represent the genotype of the f1 generation now try to see here when both the genes are present what will be the phenotype disc so scientist here they observed in f1 generation all the progeny they were having disc shape okay they when they cross disc with long okay in the f1 generation what they saw all the progeny they were disc shape now you have to do the self cross okay disc with disc and you know four types of gametes will be produced here okay and four types of gametes will be produced there and if you solve this by pinnet square it is quite easy okay if you solve the cross with pinnet square what you are going to observe you are going to observe different genotypes like this way now here at the ninth position okay where you are going to have capital a capital b okay when both the genes are present what will be the phenotype disc okay now when gene a is present but gene b is in homozygous recessive condition okay gene a is present then here you are going to have sphere so three sphere when gene b is present gene a is absent okay i have told you either gene a is present or either gene b is present what you are going to see the phenotype sphere now if both are absent then in that condition what you are going to see phenotype long quite easy now here you can see what will be the phenotypic ratio it will be 9 is to 3 plus 3 6 is to 1 okay now, here i just want to tell you if you see here when the condition is that gene a is present gene b is present when both of the genes their product their product are present what you are going to see you are going to see a novel phenotype so here gene a product gene a protein gene b protein okay both are going to have a new phenotype in the presence of both of the proteins both of the enzymes what you are going to see a novel phenotype so hopefully you have understood this ratio please do like share the video and subscribe to my channel correct biology thank you for watching this if you have any doubt any question please leave the comment okay hopefully you have learned clearly the phenomena of epistasis thank you have a nice time